Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you a convenient little way that you can change how you are measuring and thus sketching within Inventor uh, a circle, whether it is through a radius measurement or a diameter measurement. So if you're going to follow along, make sure you are working within an appropriate uh, project folder. Uh, I'm going to work within my video tutorials folder where I'm going to basically leave the projects that I've been working on and I'm going to just start a part. Right. Now I am going to start with a 2D sketch on the XY plane. That's where I usually like to start. So I select 2D sketch, XY plane. Remember middle mouse button lets you drag around the screen and the mouse wheel lets you zoom in and out which would be a little bit helpful. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to set these circles uh, one measurement based off of the radius of the circle and the other measurement based off of the diameter of the circle. And just to add just a one little bit into that, I want to make sure that these two circles are three inches apart from center to center. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my first circle. And let's say my first circle has a... Uh, diameter okay of three inches right so I I clicked circle and I'm clicking the center here this is where my center of my circle is going to be and I'm stretching out further and further and further and okay I could try to get this really really close oh, I'm super close but it's not exactly what I want now you might be thinking the best way to do this is for you to use the dimensioning tool up here at the top uh, to, to place a circle, set its just value to something, and then click dimensions and set it that way. It could be done, but why waste the time? Let me show you. You see how the number in the middle is highlighted blue right now, 5.141 inches? That's saying, hey, give me a, a diameter that you want right now. Okay. I said I want a three inch diameter circle. So I'm actually going to, on my keyboard, on the numpad, or you can use the numbers above the letters, I'm gonna type, hit three, enter. Boom, done. It just made a circle that has a diameter of three inches. All right, sweet, sweet. I hit escape to clear out the circle tool. Now, I want this circle, which has three inches in diameter, to be, let's say, five inches away from my next circle. So I'm actually going to use the line tool. And I am going to stretch out a line. And I'm just going to go vertical here. Okay. I'm just going to go vertical. So I make sure that it's snapping right on the vertical line. And I, I said, I, I think I said five inches. So same type of thing, okay? The blue is highlighting right now the linear distance, so all I have to do is make sure it's snapping where I want it to be, that I want it to be a nice vertical line, and it's confirming that with that um, constraint where there's the red hash marks along the vertical line, but we'll talk more about constraints later. Uh, and I want it five, so just, it doesn't even have to be close to five. Just five, enter. Boom. Now you can either use uh, escape to clear out the line tool or remember you can actually right click and hit cancel to remove the line tool as well. So now I've drawn this line here five inches. Now what it's doing is it's helping me mark the center of this circle to the center of my next circle. Okay, I'm going to click my circle tool. Now let's say uh, I'm rude and I say that the radius for this top circle is going to be one point three five. All right. And that's not that nice of a number. And um, you uh, don't want to go typing in the, into the calculator or anything like that to find out what the diameter is. Because right now, look, it's measuring in diameter. Well, here's how you change it over to measure in radius. When I'm trying to draw a circle, right click, and then down here is radius. Now it's measuring that circle in radius. Okay, and I can go right back to diameter if I want to. I'm not going to. But I said 1.35 inches in radius. So I just typed in 1.35, enter, done. Now these two circles are 
five inches on center from each other. This one is three inches in diameter, and this one is 1.35 inches in radius. Simple as that. Hopefully that will help with creating some of our shapes to come.